Many ages ago, the most prized possession in the kingdom of Tundria was not land, nor livestock, nor gold, but the people's crown. A crown only awarded to those kings and queens who ruled their lands generously and kindly. But wars and greed had corrupted the hearts of many of its monarchs, leaving the crown without a worthy emissary. And so it was locked away, hidden, until one day a worthy new leader was to be found. You have sent for me, father? I have, my child. Come. Your greatest wish is about to come true. The kingdom of Tandria lies in disarray. King Baldurus has been exiled from his lands by Lord Wolverine and his Dark Knight Dracorian. Together they now seek rule over his kingdom. That is, if we let them. Zoe, this is the moment you have been waiting for. This is your chance to become queen. Go to Tandria and colonize it, and I shall crown you ruler of your own kingdom. I shall, father. I shall do as you wish. Desire, how wonderfully blind you are. And so, Zoe took to Tandria to meet with an old friend and ally of her father's. He was to help her with the difficult task of colonizing the unruly kingdom of Tandria. Welcome to Tandria, Princess Zoe. I have been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Then you must be Boz. My father spoke very highly of you. He said you know Tandria like the back of your hand. His Majesty is too kind, but indeed I do know a thing or two about these lands. Excellent. Then perhaps you can advise me on how to begin my conquest. I shall be at your service, my lady. I am always here to help you, Princess. Let us see if there are any useful resources around. Ha! Ah, we are lucky. There are large piles of stones and lots of trees nearby. This will give you an easy start with your first settlement. Excellent! Good navigation means good overview. The key to success. This village was once a buzzing town with happy settlers. But after Lord Wolverine sent Tandria into disarray and expelled our beloved king, many abandoned their villages in fear of looters and villagers. Princess Zoe, I suggest that you first rebuild this village and return Bonefelden to its former glory, as it was once under its king.
Great! Your stone cutters have gathered enough stones for the moment. Stones are very important resources, so always try to keep an eye on your stock. Now you should build residences to provide enough living space for your settlers. Princess, you have mastered the first step in reconstructing Bonefelden. Living space as of now shall no longer be an issue for these villagers. Now we urgently need wooden planks. Excellent! You have successfully established plank production. Besides stones, planks are also extremely important for construction. Princess, I fear we are not alone. Ramirez, one of Lord Wolverine's minions, is hiding out in the area. What does he want? He most likely wants to cross our plans. Perhaps if we talk to him, we can come to an agreement. With all due respect, my lady, one cannot negotiate with criminals. Then what do you suggest? Action, my lady! It will speak louder than words. Then so be it. Take a look over there, princess. This is Ramirez's hideout. 
I suggest we surprise him and strike first. For that, we need an army. Don't dare to come closer, young princess, or I will crush you like a little bug. To build an army, you need food. So, let us set up a production line for bread that will prepare us for the next step. Congratulations! You have successfully established flower production. Now, to bake bread, we need a bakery. General is currently deployed at your castle, but he alone is too weak to attack Ramirez's camp. Use bread to hire mercenaries at my tavern and reinforce your general. I will spend the required coins for you.
You shall not be so fortunate! Well done, my lady. You now have your first soldiers under contract, and I would say that your display of military swiftness was rather impressive. This will be a warning to Ramirez. What exactly is it that Ramirez and Lord Wolverine are fighting for? They are thieves and bandits. They want nothing less but to steal Tandria away from its people. It was them who drove the beloved King Baldurus from these lands. But I heard King Baldurus was a tyrant, that he was cruel and reckless to his people. Utter no such lies. His Majesty was a kind and wise man, merely misunderstood by his people. You were successful.